Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Jasmine is going to catch us up on some entertainment news. Jasmine? Okay. Good morning, guys. Before being the bearer of bad news, just want to let you know I'm bringing you some good news as well. First, one reality star has been granted a restraining order against their spouse, but then a reality TV show creator is accused for domestic violence. And in other news, your favorite stars line up to be your favorite superheroes. Here is what's making headlines this Tuesday. The Hills reality TV star Audrina Patridge is granted a temporary restraining order of domestic violence on professional BMX rider ex-husband Corey Bowen. As of this year in May, recent alleged encounters have been present since and reports have been made that Bowen has to stay 100 yards away from ex-Audrina and three-year-old Kira. After 10 months of marriage, the couple filed for divorce in September of 2017 and was finalized in December of 2018. After filing for divorce, Patridge won custody of daughter that following month. The SoCal Beauty Personal Life has been airing on the reality TV show The Hills New Beginnings, where she opens up to co-star Heidi Montag about the ongoing battles with ex-husband Bowen. It's hard enough going through a divorce. It's harder everyone judging and knowing intimate details that you don't want everyone to know. I have to protect myself. The single mother admits it's not easy. According to court documents obtained by the blast, ex-husband has to stay away from ex-wife and daughter until the next court hearing that is scheduled later this month. The Bachelor creator Mike Flees is under investigation for attacking his 10-week-old pregnant wife Laura Flees. After five years of marriage, Mike filed for divorce on July 10 before going public. Laura was granted a restraining order last Tuesday after Mike allegedly put his hands on her on the 4th of July weekend in Kauai, Hawaii. Prior to July 4, Laura confirmed that Mike threatened her to abort or he will file for divorce, leading another argument on 4th of July, while their four-year-old son Ben was in the other room. According to Laura, on July 6, Mike forcefully grabbed her phone out of her hands, where she then chased him to the front door of their house and pushed her against the wall and held her down. The 31-year-old adds Mike wouldn't return her phone as he kept pushing her away and getting in his truck. Last Tuesday, the 44-year-old denied Laura's allegation on the July 6th incident in court. Mike says he asked Laura to see her phone because he thought she was having an affair and that Laura attacked him. Mike's attorneys asked the court to deny Laura's restraining order and let Mike have primary custody on their son instead. Meanwhile, Laura is demanding for full custody of their son, have Mike pay for legal fees for their divorce, as well as child and spouse support. According to Mike, he did not want to have any more children. Mike claims that Laura lied about being on birth control, making him wonder what else she could be lying about, leading him to think she was having an affair. Laura eventually confessed she was never on birth control. After battling for divorce and fighting for custody, the creator isn't letting his personal problems affect his ABC show and its spinoffs. Fleece continues to tweet and promote his ABC show on social media. But for now, the investigation is still ongoing. Get ready, Marvel fans, because a list of new superhero movies are coming your way. Marvel Studios announced on Saturday at the Comic-Con convention in San Diego, California, you'll be seeing a lot of action movies in the next couple of years. Now, if you've never heard of Comic-Con or been to Comic-Con, you might want to consider going to see all of your favorite stars, plus writers of your favorite superhero comic books, movies, and television series, and maybe want to get dressed up as a superhero yourself. This year, Angelina Jolie and Seth Rogen made an appearance for their upcoming roles. The 44-year-old actress says she is excited to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Cena in The Eternals. Marvel Studios announced the movie will hit theaters on November 6 of 2020. As for other Hollywood stars, Salma Hayek, Natalie Portman, Chris Hensworth, Scarlett Johansson, Richard Madden, and many more appeared at the event. Massive projects will be released like The Pink Panther 2, Hawkeye, and Reboot of Blade. Some films and shows are slated to drop as early as next spring. Marvel Studios announced on Instagram that Thor Love and Thunder hits theaters on November 5, 2021, with Natalie Portman playing as Thor's love interest as known as Mrs. Thor. As for other box office movies in the works, Marvel confirmed that Black Widow is a first female-led superhero film starring Scarlett Johansson. Black Widow is set to be released in May of 2020. Wow. I've never been to Comic-Con. 
Have you guys been to, have you guys no. heard of it? No. Okay. No. So I've never been to Comic-Con. I've always wanted to go because, you know, I've had friends who are interested in dressing up and everything mm -hmm. like that. So it's pretty interesting. Um, there's going to be a lot of movies and shows coming in. So are, I don't know if you guys are into Marvel and, you know, superheroes. No? We're not into superheroes. <laughs> We're not really. I'm sorry. I mean, we appreciate it for we what do, it is. We do, yeah. And they actually had the one here in Springfield that we participated in. We dressed up. Remember, I was oh, Thor. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. And I was yes. Wonder Woman. Oh, and, and it's incredible the, so, the detail that goes into what they create. I was Supergirl once when I had yes. blonde hair back then. Okay. You are. Supergirl, yes. You know what? You could be Supergirl with brown hair. You can. I You're Supergirl no matter yeah, what. Yeah, that's right. The future Supergirl. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the whole you know, domestic violence situation. Oh. What do you guys think about that? With, you know, The Bachelor, I was thinking like, you know, he has these love shows. <sighs> you would think that he's all about love, but really he's not, so. <laughs> well, you can't know a person by That's what true. they endorse exactly. or what they are doing. I, I mean, you can't know unless you live with them. And reading articles about him, you know he's not really there all the time when they're mm -hmm. filming. He's right. only there the first two days right. of The Bachelor when they start filming, and he just goes back to Hawaii. And he well, yeah, he didn't need that. He didn't need to be there. He, he created yeah. the show. He's making the money, and he leaves. And why then, yeah, did he be there? Yeah. And he knows that people are about romance, and that's why he created the show. So, yes, it is about money. Yes, true. And then, of course, you have Audrina Patridge from The Hills. Did you know that Corey Bowen told her that he can't, that she can't see Justin? Bobby? Justin yeah, Bobby? Justin Bobby. While they were Why? married, they couldn't be friends. Couldn't oh. talk. Do you remember in the yes, second Yes, she did say that. Yes, yes, I do remember that now. So just wrapping up for tomorrow, just letting you guys know that that's going on in The Hills, and it's all showing on TV. It's pretty. I hate to see that, especially when children are involved. Yeah. That is yeah. so Her little tragic. Yeah. Kira, yes. Because if they're in the home, when, when all that's going on, it, it definitely affects them. And I mm -hmm. wish it could be, you know, you hear that advice all the time when you're separating is never talk bad about the other parent around the child. You can have all yeah. the feelings you want about that person, but yeah. in front of the child, that is their parent no matter what, though. That's right. And, and you she's shouldn't. Getting, and she's getting full custody. Oh, yeah. So yes, I just, yeah. I just feel bad for the whole situation. Yeah. yeah, it's going, there's a lot going on. Like last week, I talked about love is in the air, and now all these things are happening with other couples. Now yeah. love is in despair. Yeah, there you oh! go. <laughs> I just came up that with that good. one. Yeah. Okay, for thanks, sure. Jasmine. Do you mind sticking Thank around you. for some Ozarks Fox feedback? Of course.